Achieving R1 status uh, would also be of enormous benefit and value first to the city of Baltimore. Uh, we conducted an economic impact study just a couple of years ago and at the R2 level, uh, it's a billion dollars a year for the state of Maryland and over $500 million economic impact for the city of Baltimore. That's at R2. Uh, at R1, minimally, we could expect to double that impact. Uh, and for the city of Baltimore, that would mean a $1 billion annual economic impact in the city of Baltimore and minimally $2 billion and above for the state of Maryland. Uh, what we'll see in Baltimore uh, coming out of Morgan uh, would be um, more spinoffs, um, more small businesses uh, that would be formed uh, that will stay here in our city uh, and help our city uh, to become uh, an innovation hub uh, here in the Northeast. Um, and that is in alignment with uh, the thinking of uh, the new leadership um, here in Baltimore. Uh, and we think that um, having Morgan as a R1 uh, research institution uh, will certainly enhance uh, innovation in our city uh, and will lead to our city becoming even more uh, attractive uh, for individuals to want to invest in Baltimore, uh, to want to live in Baltimore, and of course to want to go to school in Baltimore. We at Morgan are an institution uh, that is about setting goals, um, realistic goals, but stretch goals. Uh, and then we are hell-bent on doing everything we can to achieve those goals. And we are an institution that has understood from day one and will continue to understand what it means to hold fast to dreams. Uh, and so you know, as I think about dreams and holding fast to dreams, uh, I'm reminded of that great poem by Langston Hughes. Um, and that poem went something like, hold fast to dreams. You know, for if dreams go, uh, life is like a barren field, uh, frozen and covered with snow. You know, hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, you know, life is like a broken winged bird that cannot fly. And so you know, we here at Morgan are about holding fast to our dreams. You know, we are about ensuring that just as our visionary ancestors had dreams of building a place as magnificent as this campus is today, knowing that they would never, ever, ever get a chance to experience it. We have to dream dreams bigger than they dreamed to make sure that 40, 50, 60, 70 years from now, when we are long gone from this place, others will be here enjoying the benefit of those dreams the way we're here, enjoying the benefit of the dreams that came into existence in 1867.